talk to me about your uh your just I feel like every Chris Brown album you somehow mm-hmm. have your fingerprints on in some capacity. Yeah. Um how did you guys first link up and mm-hmm. just talk about why he trusts you so much? Yeah. With, so um, he's also a great writer. <clears throat> he is, he is. That's why I you know, I definitely don't take it lightly. Um, just that, you know, that trust. Um uh, the first song we did was called Champion. It was for a London artist named Chipmunk. Harmony called me in for the session. I wrote the hook and he just recut the hook and mm-hmm. was like, yo, whoever did that whoever that was singing i want them to work on my next album so he brought the whole team with harmony and myself and courtney and and we all went to the man straight in with chris brown you know what i mean i was i was actually in london working um and had to get a call to come back the next day literally like i landed had to go right back. I didn't do no work, and we got in with him and wrote all the songs on on um, Fame. Oh my love, uh, champion ended up going on there. Say it with me, and then that joined one of his first uh, Wait, Grammy. Was Fame the first album after kind of the whole shindig that went? Yeah, down? yeah, the, with yeah. the graffiti kind of art. Yeah. So that was yep. like kind of his comeback. That album. was the one, and it got a Grammy. So it's like we was involved in such a pivotal moment. I felt like uh, it was like let's keep doing it. Yeah, and then you did Find China, right? Yeah, Find China is such well, a great man. record, man. That's that's my favorite one, dog. I was gonna say when you write a song like Find that's China, are you one. with him or do you send it to him? And if you send it to him, are you kind of hoping he doesn't nah. want it so you keep it for yourself? Nah, I'm with him. Okay, yeah, I'm with him. Uh, any of the songs that are like the big ones, like New Flame and Love More, Full we was we was all there. Yeah, but when I'm by my myself, a lot of them songs nobody I don't be playing them for nobody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, for one. It's like, I'm going to keep this and I can do whatever I want with it. And it's going to benefit me more low key to have ownership of the song as opposed to um, if I go to a session and I'm with somebody else, that's their studio time. They pay for that. That's right. most likely they beat. So I never really be too connected. I'm always like pouring all my energy into the moment. Was Usher in the session for New Flame? Usher was not. Usher was not. He's on that song. I'm not yeah, sure. he's on that song. Um... Who else? Somebody else. Someone somewhere. else is I on think. that song. Yeah. I feel like there's a rapper we're missing Rick on Ross? New Flame. Not Rick no, Ross. it wasn't Rick Ross. Somebody's on that song, know. though. It might just be him and Usher. I don't know. It might be. I feel like I'm missing a rapper. You're a fucking... No, you wouldn't know. Baby, baby. He, he, he likes Yeet. Came here all along. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my guy over there, big Yeet fan. Yeah? Have you listened to Yeet? I just seen his logo. He's popping as fuck. I just seen it pop up on the page. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not for me to get the name. Hey, it's so many things that come out now. I'm like, wow, it's so many different names of new people yeah. and artists. And it's just like, I just respect it because I remember when it was like, who's this Eric Bellinger guy? Yeah, what do you feel like? Uh, for because I do feel like there has been a dope resurgence in like re- R&B getting respect again in terms mm-hmm. of like, you know, traditional R&B coming back, like, you know, yeah. guys like yourself, mm-hmm. you got a girl like Ella May, yeah, yeah. we go on and on and on. There's so much dope R&B in the world right now. Um, but you've been pushing through the whole, the whole time. wave. Yeah, man. And I feel like your first project comes out in 2010, mm-hmm. which I refer to as the dark era. Yeah. Because that's when, like, EDM got introduced and there was all of these R and B artists doing that EDM is, songs. That is when it happened. So there was like this was like the Lady Gaga and, I, and I'm the only one still waving the wave. flag. <laughs> yeah, and so like you're still putting out traditional R and B. I think yeah. around that time, yeah. August was starting to come out with his mixtape. Yeah, August. Adrian Marcel had a dope mixtape yep. with Raphael Sadiq. T Fly had a banger. T Fly, but Ty, Ty Dolla Sign. Ty, that's when he first started sure. popping. Jeremiah, but yeah, like. For you, like you've been through so many eras of R and B, like, uh, yeah. Do you recall when it, like, what what was it like to not be cool to be the R and B guy? Mm. Because you think yeah. ne- Neo's biggest songs are the, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Four like, on the floor joints. You know, it was it was not only did the R and B not become as popular, but I was water on also. <laughs> I was also I was also singing at a time I and was married too. You mm. know what I mean? So like 
that wasn't the cool like everybody wasn't booed up that wasn't like bagels like we were being married and making r&b music <laughs> yeah i was not the right you feel me and, but i i knew like yo also shout out to miguel who was holding that flag too at that time he was yes he was for sure and I wasn't, I wasn't aiming to... Also married at the time, ish. Maybe he, had, ish? he was with his girl. Ish. Yeah, he was We've been going lady. big time, the jump. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is the big boy. When you really in there, yeah. and you in there... You walk down that aisle. Yeah, this different. is like... It hits different. It hits different. For so sure. Like the commitment was like, I was dedicated. We vibed, we, we vibed it out. And she held me up. When you, once you got that woman, that queen, that make you feel like... You got it? You mm -hmm. good. So that sustained me and my fans really just let me know like, yo, thank you for being the only one that we can listen to when it comes to positive influence and in relationships. Right. When it thinks of just like R&B, like I want to love on my girl as opposed to everything being the opposite. You know, so me just giving people another option, it became the standard and it became the new wave after people got tired of disrespecting and being disrespected. Yeah, there was also like like you're saying, there was the super toxic R and B shit where it was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was like it was really crazy. Yeah, Some of the shit that was girlfriend's getting, girlfriend. Oh my it god. Was, it was going crazy. Shout out to Trey Song. Yeah, Some of the most man. toxic R and B of all time. Mr. Steel Girl, gotta give it to him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was like, where'd the love go, god damn it? That yes, shit was it's gone. gone. It's gone. And I was just like, yo, I'm here and I don't do it for applause. I do it for a cause. You know what I'm saying? I love that, man. 